This is how I do it. You're rolling. Flappy Bird. Why is everything that we talked about last episode done? Flappy Bird, done. What's the other thing that was done? Valentine's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Valentine's done. Jabari, done. Oh, no, no. <laughs>
You hit the thing. Boom, bang, haberdash. But guess what? She's not the one. And now it's time for you to break up. How should you go about this? First of all, Kool Aid, you're an idiot. Don't be talking about the way I say well. When you just got there, you just sat up there and said celebrate. The word is celebrate. I didn't see that. I was like, celebrate? I'll celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Think about how you would like to be broken up with. And I know that sounds silly to say because nobody really wants to be broken up with. But sometimes you're done. <laughs> if before Valentine's Day, you made it clear that this was just a sexual thing, then you don't have to worry about this because you had your fun and now it's done with. But if you lied to her, like screw would, and you gave the false pretense that this was something more, you've now got to figure out how to get rid of her. Or you've now got to figure out how to get rid of him, especially if they're in your bed. My lies planned this because, as you may recall, I told the girl I was an astronaut. I'm going to the moon. I, I can't take you to the moon with me. There's a lot of training that goes into that. I know how Jack would break up a girl. Walk past the pool. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> One fart in her face and leave. Because that's how he is. Me? How do I break up with a girl? Because I've broken up by text all the time. No! Oh. Oh, <laughs> happy face. That's the only. But. <laughs> Sober. No, you know, like, you know when you speak to a girl like directly on and you're so angry you don't open your eyes. Like, look, this is not. It's not working out, really. You're getting on my nerves, to be honest with you. You're getting on my nerves, so it's over. And she's like, you don't open your eyes too, though. What do you mean it's over? Look. I've had enough of this, to be honest. To be quite honest. Because you know what happened, you got excited, you thought Valentine's Day is coming up I got to pull out the stuff, she got the girl, you hit Then a week after Valentine's Day, she's calling up with the same stories that you had to listen to before And you thought this is kind of dry now What other ways is there to break up with a girl? Huh? Text is not a way No, I think sometimes you just need to text Come on man, it's 2014, everyone's texting, you know like It's like, you know what you should do actually If you get something like WhatsApp or even Facebook, yeah You invite everybody into a group and then break up with her, so then you have to explain to everyone what happened. You'd be like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Debbie, but it's over. Like, I tagged everyone, so that we don't have to go through this all the, all the time. Just tag all your friends and that's It's over, Debbie. Bam, I tagged our friends, we don't need to go over it. That's the way you do it. Save time, save energy. But it's got to be a better way, right? You can text <laughs> Let's just assume you went all the way in with this relationship. You went to that Facebook level. Facebook official, as they call it. Facebook official. F F O. That is the right thing. Isn't it? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the book of Facebook was with an F. Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook official. F O. Because <laughs> it's one word. It's one word, isn't it? So, boom. Uh, po. Po. Yeah. You have Facebook official. Po. Yes. <laughs> That's you. Po. Well, you. Po. Yeah. <laughs> But you and Debbie four. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you and Debbie are four. The best way to break up with her. In this is a new way, and this is a new way. This is if you don't want to do the texting, you don't want to do the talking. Just break up with her on Facebook, and don't actually message her. Just wherever it's saying like you're married or you're engaged or you're going out with. Just ungo out with them, innit? Just unengaged. <laughs> <laughs> Just on <unpo> <laughs> Unfo, un you hear me? Just unfo and put it on your wall. Bam! <laughs> like, don't hide it. Highlight it. Don't don't text people breakups. Don't email them breakups. Don't send them telegraphs or carrier pigeons or any kind of nonsense like that. Be civil, considerate, and have some decency, damn it. If you're gonna break up with me, you better break up with me face to face. I'm gonna tell you exactly why we're not broken up. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack said, do it face to face. I say, do it Facebook to Facebook. Why would you want to do it face to face, man? Like, then she'll come back a few months later with a knife telling you to, no. <laughs> like, somebody. Somebody. <laughs> somebody gonna, gonna, gonna eat this. <laughs> somebody gonna eat this. <laughs> I'm like, we broke up like three months ago. Somebody gonna eat this right now. Right now. Nah, but I'm not more about that. And the thing is, breakups are very, very hard. It's emotionally and mentally quite a difficult situation to deal with. Even more so. I'm sorry, can I just break up? <laughs> How I'd want a girl to break up with me is that one last hit, but like, let me know that this is the last hit. Because I don't want us to break up, and I think, damn, I should have got that one last hatred hit. Ember. 
And this week's sacrifice. Ice JJ Fish, a musician, an artist. You may have you may have seen some of these videos. A lot of people making a big deal saying, you know, he can't really sing, blah blah blah. But what I don't understand is he sings through the gaps in his teeth. And it's an acquired taste. And I actually I'm supporting the guy. And there's one video he has called On the Floor, which I only watched for two reasons. And it went the girl's boobs. It was the gap and it was the teeth. I've wanted to talk about Ice JJ Fish for a long time on the temple because to me his music is awful and worthy of discussion. However, this was before he took it beyond the temple to the next level with the HD videos and the models and the music production and the professional recording and mixing, if you can call it that. So I watched his video on the floor, which was posted on my Facebook wall officially. <clears throat> Bo. And <laughs> And I was disgusted. And it wasn't even by Ice JJ Fish. And that's one hell of a name. It was actually everybody else who disgusted me. Not even the people who were cussing him in the comments. It was the model, that fit girl. What the hell is she doing in the video? The cameraman, the production team, whoever produced the music, and whoever recorded the music. You guys are all getting sacrificed here today. This is a prime example of people who don't care about people. Let's face it, Ice JJ Fish ridiculous what you're doing is a travesty uh, if this was a hundred years ago you would be hung for treason because it is an abomination to the to mankind and to everybody who has ear you know what it makes sense now all of his friends are deaf like Kule said the real culprits of this crime headshot productions what's that girl's name i was gonna call it <coughs> Yeah, Pocahontas looking to you, mate. <laughs> oh, Karen. Pocahontas looking to you, mate. Karen V, you all need to stop encouraging this because you know maybe there's something wrong with him. He he does appear as though he could just be a little bit special, and you all are taking advantage of his disability. It's evident that money speaks volumes because that's this is the only thing that I can use to understand the motivations of the people involved. It's not right and it's not okay. <laughs> when I watched this on the floor video, which was only to laugh at the poor performance on his behalf and then check out whatever else was going on, especially with this hot girl, I was surprised and I didn't think that he nor anyone associated with him could surprise me anymore. Because later on in that video, that girl starts dancing. Why are her moves as poor as his moves. Why are they both using third world moves? Stop chewing rocks <laughs> and grating cheese with your teeth. Vanilla Ice, LL Cool JJ, Lawrence Fishburne. It's not you, it's me. I can't do this no more. <laughs> so, I don't make fun of people who are mentally disabled. That's not nice. And to be honest, there's no real way to prove or disprove if Ice JJ Fish is or is not mentally disabled. But I am going to assume that he is mentally challenged based on his behavior and performance. So again, what I would really like to know is where are the people who are supposed to be looking after this man? Because they are clearly not. It's one thing for someone who's mentally challenged to be like, you know what, I wanna be an R&B singer. And for you to not stifle their dream and to let them imagine themselves in this way and to practice these things. But to let someone put themselves out there to the degree that he is putting himself out there in this capacity. My man has songs on iTunes. It's not the first time I've said this. Screw has a mixtape. I have a mixtape. I have no songs on iTunes. Why is on the floor on iTunes? Why does he have a HD? video. Uh -uh. Now there are people out there who actually aren't good artists either, but they're not getting the same level of support that he is getting. People are actively investing in Ice JJ Fish, like his stocks and shares. Like right now, he's on the up. But that bubble will pop and the only person that will crash will be the fish.